Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good Monday afternoon and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Nick Oreskel. We'll get to your top stories at 4 in just a second, but first a look at your traffic and weather with meteorologist Adam Trumpko. A warm day to be out on the roads yes. today, Adam. It's going to get even hotter as we go through the week. Exactly. Temperatures are really going to warm up, and we are seeing some delays out there. Here's a look at the traffic, uh, and you can see there's some delays uh, in the Springfield area. Chicopee, 391, some construction taking place there that could cause some issues. Also 91 as you're heading up towards Northampton, seeing some slow moving traffic there as well along the pike, seeing some areas out towards Ludlow and Palmer where there's some construction taking place some slow moving track traffic and a little bit farther to the east, especially if you're headed out towards Sturbridge, some issues there on the on the pike with a slowdown there as well as you're heading towards Charlton and uh, some construction in the Westfield area as well. So spotty delays in some areas along uh, Route 202, also a slowdown there in Belchertown. Let's take a look at temperatures out there right now and it is on the warm side. We were in the 70s this weekend. Not too bad though. Overall, we are seeing temperatures in the 70s and 80s out there right now. It's 83 in Springfield and Westfield. Northampton at 80, 79 right now in Orange, and the uh, lower to mid 80s outside right now in the Berkshires, 82 right now in Pittsfield, 85 in North Adams. Here's a look at our clouds and radar, and we are tracking some mainly high clouds that are going to kind of move on through as we head through this afternoon and as we head through tonight. It's going to be temperatures that will be dropping down into the 60s tonight, so not quite as comfortable as it was the last couple of nights, but we are tracking that big warm up on the way as we head uh, over the next several days, and we'll show that to you in just a few minutes. Nick. Adam, thank you. A former Springfield school teacher has been sentenced to 8 to 10 years in prison on sexual assault charges. David Wehrmey pleaded guilty in Hampton Superior Court today to several charges, including aggravated rape of a child. The crimes occurred around 10 years ago when Wehrmey was teaching at the now closed new leadership charter school in Springfield. He was placed on leave from Springfield Public Schools following his arrest last year. He will be ineligible for parole and will be required to register as a sex offender once released. There will be no additional jail time for the man accused of acting as a lookout during the prison killing of Boston mobster James Whitey Bolger. Sean McKinnon pleaded guilty today to a charge of lying to federal agents in exchange for credit for serving 22 months in custody after his indictment. McKinnon, along with Springfield mob enforcer Freddie Gius and another inmate, were charged in connection with the 2018 killing at a troubled West Virginia prison. Plea deals for the three were disclosed last month. Gius will be sentenced September 6. The entire Massachusetts congressional delegation is calling on the federal government to increase funding to provide new arrivals in the state with shelter and humanitarian services. In a letter to Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas and FEMA, the delegation wrote that Massachusetts is struggling to provide and pay for services for more than 7,300 families living in state shelters and an additional 800 families on a waiting list. Lawmakers said Massachusetts applied for $34.5 million in funding and has been allocated almost $7 million. The state expected to spend nearly $1 billion on emergency shelter in the upcoming fiscal year. It's been nearly a year since torrential rains wiped away entire farms worth of crops here in the Pioneer Valley and in the Berkshires. And today, we now know not a single one of those farms were lost thanks to a public-private partnership that provided more than $20 million in relief. The Gilly administration and United Way of Central Massachusetts launched a fundraiser campaign dubbed the Massachusetts Farm Resiliency Fund last July. At least 75 local farms, primarily in western and central Massachusetts, were damaged by flooding. $15 million worth of crops were lost as a result. Back now with a check on weather with meteorologist Adam Trump. Go a weather alert you have declared because exactly. of some extreme temperatures on the way. Exactly. We're going to see temperatures that will be getting up into the 90s starting tomorrow, and those 90s are going to be sticking around right through the end of the week, so we have issued that weather alert. Here's a look at our temperature cast. There we are, 7 o'clock this evening. We'll be on the warmer side, upper 70s and lower 80s across western Massachusetts. As we head through the overnight hours, temperatures will be dropping through the 70s and eventually getting down into the 60s, so not as comfortable as it was over the weekend. We'll start 
to off with temperatures in the 60s tomorrow morning and then the heat starts to move in as we head into the afternoon. There we are at three o'clock and seeing those temperatures getting up into the 90s, especially in the valley. 94 Springfield, 91 Westfield, Northampton 93, Greenfield 93 as well. Upper 80s to right around 90 in the Berkshires. There's a heat advisor in effect uh, for all of Western Massachusetts tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening and that continues for some areas right through the end of the week. Temperature cast as we head into early Wednesday morning. It's going to be a muggy start. We're going to see those temperatures in the 60s to right around 70 degrees and then that heat continues on Wednesday. Seeing those temperatures once again in the 90s may even be a little bit hotter than this but to definitely low to mid 90s, perhaps even upper 90s in some areas as we head into Wednesday afternoon. And that's going to continue Thursday into Friday as well, Nick. U.S. Surgeon General is pushing to require a warning label on social media platforms in an opinion piece for the New York Times. Dr. Vivek Murthy called for a Surgeon General's warning label to be placed on social media platforms similar to those warning labels that appear on tobacco and alcohol products. He noted that studies have shown that warning labels on tobacco products can increase awareness and change a user's behavior. Murthy called for legislation from Congress. In the NBA, the Boston Celtics will return home for Game 5 of the NBA Finals against the Dallas Mavericks tonight. Boston currently leads Dallas 3-1 in the series after dropping Game 4 by a shocking 38 points. A win tonight would secure the Celtics' 18th championship in team history and the first since the team last won in 2008. A loss, well, we won't go there. The Celtics enter the game as six and a half point favors. Tip off is set for 8.30 tonight. Now for a look at what we are working on for 22 News starting at 5. The 22 News drum team is tracking our potential for a heat wave this week. We are working for you with what you should do to be prepared. Plus, we'll take you to the groundbreaking for Square One's new location in Springfield. And the state is looking to meet alternatives as a way to fight climate change. What this means for the future of burgers and dogs. Adam. Nick, here's a look at traffic, and we are seeing uh, quite a bit of a backup right now on 91, especially between East Hampton and North Hampton. So you're going to be traveling in that area. Count on slowdown, or really traffic uh, looks like it could be pretty much at a standstill there. Also seeing some delays on the Mass Pike, especially out towards Sturbridge near Charlton. Looks like traffic is pretty much at a standstill over there and some spotty areas where we're seeing some slowdowns out towards Ludlow on the pike uh, 391 Chicopee area on uh, 91 as well. Some slowdowns and some construction taking place also out towards uh, Westfield just to west uh, out towards Russell could be some uh, slowdowns Blanford as well uh, on the on the pike as well into uh, portions of 91 near Springfield also seeing some slowdowns in uh, Route 202 between Granby and Beltertown looks like some slowdowns there as well Nick. All right, Adam, thank you, and thank you for joining us this afternoon for 22 News at 4 o'clock. We're back tonight at 5 with all your local news and weather. Of course, those updates anytime on our website and the free 22 News app.